All right, Marama, let's tick a few things off. Are you nervous? So I'm a little nervous. No, I'm not nervous oh, at all. Oh, okay. Well, that's... I love them, but I'm not really good at them, but I just <laughs> do what I do. Are you ever fallen off? Yeah, once. So is, 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 I suppose is that what you, you love doing, riding horses, or is there anything else that you sort of enjoy doing that not many people would know too much about? Oh, I love painting, singing, karaoke. <laughs> What's your favourite karaoke song? Oh, there's a few, there's a few. Come on, you can't let away all the trade secrets. So how do I Look at them go? all like trimmed up Sorry. and stuff. Yeah, cute, cool, it? thank you. I'm lovable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Mama Fox. If I can't be Foxy Mama, I can be Mama Fox. <laughs> <laughs> what they can expect is that every single day we fight for our people. I'm not your average politician. <laughs> well, but, yeah. Are you freaking out? Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> Are we both, we're supposed to come back together. Shall I race you? No, no. No, no racing. Please. It's I'm not a bit competitive. How's that? The mental health. We are really proud to push the government to spend $224 million on the mental health system. Is it enough? People say no, but it's more than we had yesterday. Why should they stop caring and worrying about that sort of thing and, and listen to what you and the Māori mm. Party have to say? We're not, uh, we're not saying listen to us, we have all the solutions. We're saying tell us what your issues are, we'll provide the pathway, and then you, you're the ones who work at the grassroots, you're the ones who work with our youth, you tell us what you need the money for. Well, I suppose what's your take on tertiary education? Well, I want to lift the threshold by which people have to start paying back their student loans. If a student was to say, for, stay for, say, five years, you'd, what, you'd want to wipe the fees? Yeah, because, I mean, they're giving back, and if they can stay here because now they don't have big debt, of burden behind them, then they will give back to our nation forever. Legalising cannabis, so there it is. Where, where do you sit on that? Well, our, our party have said that um, we are happy for medicinal cannabis. For the first time ever, I'm open to having a conversation about legalising. Why should, I suppose, non-Māori people care about the Māori party? Um, because, you know what, I think we're the social conscience of the national government and I think we've been the social conscience of any government and we're past colonisation, we've moved on from being a party of protest to a party of progress. I mean, having te reo Māori in your, in your community, having kaupapa Māori models of practice in the country is value add to our nation. You know, how are we doing? I just say red undies, blue undies, same as skid marks. So I think... Um, what does that mean? Well, the the, <laughs> the the leftover damage of having a red and blue government equal amounts of times in power has meant that um, our people have suffered. But we're about the future, not the colonised past where you have to sit in the corner if you're a Māori and shut the heck up. Just mm. saying. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Bro, if I don't get past this politician gig, you think I could do a late night talk show? I reckon I'd be pretty good at this. What would you call it? Um, I can't call it Fox News, I think that's been taken. I'm going to do a hashtag FFS, for Fox's sake. Or a hashtag that WTF. Would... What the Fox? <laughs> so, Marama Fox, what ticks you off?